Hey guys, so in this video we're looking at transformations, however this time we're looking at doing it and calculating it with matrices. So you should also already be familiar with transformations and if you're not, go back and revise it or look at the previous videos. However, this time we're now going to do it a different method with matrices which is sometimes simpler as well as just another method you can use. So with remember with transformations there are three different types. So there's dilations, reflections, and translations. And translations. So you can apply all these different transformations with matrices, however they are slightly different when applying them. So to begin with reflections and dilations. So you have the, you set up this general form. We have x dash y dash is equal to a 2 by 2 matrix times xy. Now this 2 by 2 matrix here is effectively the reflections and then the dilations. And I'll be talking about how you can change that 2 by 2 matrix to, uh, to affect the reflections and implement the dilations or reflections. And then the x and y is your original two. And your x dash and y dash is your trans, uh, transformed image or your transformed x and y value. At the moment it may seem a bit arbitrary, however once we do an example, a full example, it will become a lot easier to see how this makes sense. But for the moment the best idea is to just make sure you um, remember it and look at the different values of what you have to input for reflections and dilations as well as the general s setup. So it's x dash y dash is equal to a 2 by 2 and then x y. So firstly, if we have a 2 by 2 matrix 1, 0, 0, 1, this has a unique property. So if I said x dash y dash is equal to 1, 0, 0, 1, x, y, and we do matrix multiplication here, we find that it's x times x plus 0 times y, so 0 times y is just 0, x plus 0 is just x. Then 0 times x is just going to be 0 plus y, which is going to equal y. So we find that this is the identity matrix, and that actually doesn't change anything at all. So if we had this as a 2 by 2 matrix, then there wouldn't be any reflections, dilations, then the image or the transformed x and y values would just be the same as the original. So from this identity, we then change some values to form reflections and dilations. So firstly, we'll look at reflections. Now if I wanted to reflect in the y-axis, what I'd do is, I, so we're looking at y-axis at the moment, then I'll need to replace x with negative x. So x dash y dash is equal to, well, at the moment we'll just put the identity in so it doesn't change anything, and then x, y. So now to make x equal to negative x, I can put a negative here, because if we then multiply this out, we get negative x, y. So that means we get x dash is equal to negative x. So to form a reflect, or to reflect in the y-axis, we then put in the negative x at 0, 0, 1. If we want to reflect in the x-axis, so this is changing y to negative y, then we let x dash y dash equal to 1, 0, 0, negative 1. And then x is, uh, x is always on the top, so you put x dash and then x. So if you keep that, it will become a lot simpler and then changing around just gets too complicated. So x is always on the top. So if you want to change the y-axis, then you need to make the x line negative. If you want to make a, change, a reflection in the x-axis, you need to make the y along the y line, make that one negative. So that's how you do reflections. So just make sure you uh, know those two two by two matrices. So how do we do dilations? So dilations is still affecting that 2 by 2 matrix. So if we want a dilation of a factor of k from the x axis, then that means we get x dash y dash is equal to the 2 by 2 matrix 
x, y. So if it's from the x axis, then we have 1, 0, 0, k. And that applies. So at the moment, it's if you remember, this is k rather than when you replace, you replace with 1 on k. So if we're doing the previous method, we'd replace with y on y on k. But this time we're just putting k, not 1 on k. Then because it's from the x-axis, if you remember, so like the opposite for dilations and reflections, so if it's the x-axis, we're changing the y-line. So we put the k into the y-line. Then, conversely, if we have a factor of a from the y-axis, then the dilation would be x dash y dash is equal to k uh, not sorry a zero zero one x y so that's the dilations and the reflections so what about translations well translations we have should say that this formula here this part of the formula is familiar we just did it then when that's the dilations and reflections then for the translations you just add plus b c here and you add that at the end so you, you do the dilation reflections times that by x, y, and then you add plus b and plus c. So b is like uh, b units in positive direction of x axis. So it's in the x axis because it's on along the x line. And now if it's like plus two, like plus um, let's say it's plus 2, 3, that would be 2 units in the positive x direction and 3 units in the negative y direction. And then, so you can see this is similar to a formula. So it's like when you have y is equal to x plus 2, then that's going to be 2 units in the positive y direction. The main thing is with matrices, you can also just memorize the formula rather than try and understand it too much. So B is B units in the positive x direction and C is C units in the positive direction of Y axis. So in both cases it's in the positive direction unless they are negative numbers. And then if it was let's say negative 3 then it would be three units down, or three units in the negative direction of the y-axis. So putting this all together, so if you go back here, or if we have a general formula, so let's say x dash y dash is equal to this two by two matrix x y, and then we're plussing it with b c, then the result is going to be a two by two matrix here. Um, so the 2 by 2 times x, y will give you values, let's say 2x and 3y. Then you're going to plus that to 2 and 3, and you're going to end up with like 2x plus 2, 3y plus 3. But effectively it's going to be one column and then two rows. So it's going to be a 2 by 1. So we can equate these where x, y, y x dash and y dash, because they're the same value, the same size, we can just let x dash equal to the top value and y dash equal to the bottom value. So let's say after applying some transformations, we get these two equations. x dash is equal to x plus 3, then y dash is equal to negative 2y. The original equation was y is equal to the square root of x, so now we need, want to find what the new equation is equal to. So the first thing we do is we rearrange to get x and y as a subjects. So x dash minus 3 is equal to x. And then y dash on 2, negative is equal to y. And you can see that the reason when we used to replace y with y on k, but now with the matrix we don't put 1 on k, we just put k. And the reason for this is when you rearrange, k then divides over. So when you sub back in, you're effectively subbing in 1 y on k again. So we get these two equations. So you should see that you have x dash, y dash, and all I've done is rearranged to get it in terms of x and y. Now I can sub these back into the original equation. So what I'm going to get is I'll get negative y dash on 2 is equal to the square root 
of x dash minus 3. So therefore, y dash is equal to negative 2 x dash minus 3. And we can just get rid of the dashes because the dashes refer to the new equation. So we can say that the new equation after the transformations is equal to y uh, negative 2 x minus 3. So now we'll do an example. To so find the equation of the curve y is equal to the square root of x after reflecting the y-axis, dilation of 4 from the x-axis and translation 2 units in the positive x direction and 1 unit down. So we'll first look for the dilations and the reflections. So there's a reflection in the x-axis, dilation of 4 from the x-axis and then the rest of translations. So we need to set up the 2 by 2 matrix here. So we have x dash y dash is equal to after a reflection the y-axis, that means we're going to put negative 1, 0, 0, 1. But then there's going to be a dilation of 4 from the x-axis. So that means that 1 turns into a 4. So we have negative 1, 0, 0, 4, times that by x, y. And then what we have a translation. So let's look at the translation. So translation, 2 units in the positive x direction. So that's going to be plus 2 and then one unit down. So that's in one unit down, so that's referring to the x-axis, so it's going to give us negative one. So now we set up this, and we just need to calculate it and then rearrange as I did before. So the original equation was y is equal to the square root of x. So we've got that, then we multiply them together, so we get x dash y dash is equal to negative x for y, plus 2, negative 1. So then we get x dash is equal to negative x plus 2. And y dash is equal to 4y minus 1. So rearrange those. And we get uh, x dash minus 2 is equal to negative x. So x is equal to 2 minus x dash. Yep, so negative, negative, make a positive. Negative x dash. And then... There's one, and then with the other one we rearrange, so we get y dash plus 1 all over 4 is equal to y. So that's the second one. Now we can sub these two values, the x and y, back into the equation y is equal to square root of x to find the new equation. So we can sub those back in, and we find that the new equation is equal to y dash plus 1 on 4 is equal to the square root of 2 minus x dash. We can just get rid of the x dashes and rearrange, so we get y plus 1 is equal to 4, 2 minus x. Therefore, the new equation is equal to y 4, 4 square root of 2 minus x minus 1.